Zuma's crime has been revealed while well, she has actually been sentenced for 12 years for selling fake passports. How deep does this corruption go? We'll be talking about that in today's video. So please do all to stay glued, watch to the end. Do not forget to subscribe and do turn on the bell notification button so you can be the first to get notified when we drop a new clip. Well, in a shocking turn of events, Judith Salome Zuma, who happens to be a former official at the Department of Home Affairs, has been sentenced to 12 years in prison for selling 100 and 92 passports illegally. Well, the news has left South Africans reeling with many questions and of course every peop, every single South African popping up to actually know the extent of this particular corruption scandal within the country. Judy Zuma, who shares his surname with former President Jacob Zuma, was found guilty of corruption, fraud and violations of the Identification and Immigration Act. While well, Judy Zuma was actually arrested in December 2021 after an investigation by the Hawks and the Department of Home Affairs uncovered her involvement in a criminal network, Zuma exploited vulnerable South Africans charging between 300 rands and 500 rands for their fingerprints, which she then used to obtain illegal passports for foreign nationals. These fraudulent activities took place at the Durban Home Affairs Office during off hours and weekends. Each fake passport earned her 4,000 rands, amounting to a total of 768,000 rands from 192 illegal passports. Well, for some of you guys that should also know, corruption has been a long standing issue here in South Africa, affecting various sectors, including government institutions. Well, the Department of Home Affairs has faced numerous allegations of corruption, often involving the illegal sale of documents. Judy Zuma's case is a stark reminder of the ongoing challenges the country faces in rooting out corruption and ensuring the integrity of its institutions. After her scheme was uncovered, Zuma tried to bribe another Home Affairs official investigating her offering 10,000 rands to look the other way. Despite her efforts, she was arrested and charged with multiple offenses. Well, last Thursday, the Duban Specialized Commercial Crimes Court sentenced her to 12 years in prison. Well, the sentencing of Judy Zuma highlights the pervasive issue of corruption within South African institutions. It raises critical questions about how such activities could go unnoticed for so long and what measures can be implemented to prevent similar cases in the future. While well, the public's reaction has been mixed with some calling for harsher penalties and others questioning the integrity of those in power. What do you think about Judy Zuma's sentence? Do you believe there are more individuals involved in similar activities? How can South Africa combat corruption effectively? Well, I don't know about you all, but of course, we got a series of comments with some people actually being so angered by this particular move. Well, we got this for a particular comment from Whitey Mjwara, and he said something like, This isn't complete until those 192 passports are found and scrapped off. Or well, the next person came and said, Ju Tabane was correct. It is South Africans who are opening the floodgates and cry foul after. That's to make you understand that South Africans are the ones that are actually giving the room for foreigners to bring issues into the country and they themselves are still the ones still bringing up issues and complaining about illegal foreigners being in the country. Guys, what is your take concerning this? Please drop your thoughts in the comment section and of course, tell us what you think concerning the whole issue that we have just discussed.